All right, what's going on, y'all? Today we're gonna talk about the five things you need to keep on your motorcycle at all times. If you don't have these things, you might be shit out of luck. The first thing on the list is an air pressure gauge. Air pressure gauge, tire pressure gauge, whatever you wanna call it, you need one of these things in case you go on a ride and you go, man, my front tire feels a little low. My back tire feels off. I'm getting a weird shake. You stop at a gas station, you start pumping air in your tire, you set it to 40 and guess what? It puts 80 pounds in that thing or it puts 26 pounds in it. Who knows? I like to keep one of these on my bike just to double check before a ride, after a ride or if I get into a sticky situation where I feel like I'm losing pressure in my tire. I always keep one of these in my handlebar bag. If you have a a bagger like the one I'm sitting on, throw it in the saddle bag. I mean, they're super small, super compact. You can pick them up for like five bucks. You'll probably get a pack of 10 of these on Amazon for nothing. So definitely keep one of these on your bike somewhere whenever you go on a ride. You don't want to be stuck without one. The next thing on the list is a seat tool. Most Harleys use a Phillips head screw. If you have a Japanese bike or a crotch rocket or any other cruiser or even an older Harley, you want to check to make sure uh, what your seat tool is. Having a Phillips head screw is probably most common. And the reason you need this is in case your battery goes dead. If you have a different bike, if, if you have a bike that's not a Harley, you might not have to worry about having to take your seat off to jumpstart your bike or you know access your battery or your fuse panel. But if you have a Harley, your battery is conveniently located underneath the seat, except on a V-Rod and a Sportster. You pull up to a spot and you leave your ignition on. Hopefully nobody takes your bike, but if you come out, your bike might be dead. You might be stuck there, making it difficult for you and your friends or maybe just yourself to get back on the road and finish the cruise that you're going on. So definitely check where your battery is and figure out what tools you need to take off the seat or a side cover, wherever your battery might be located. Like I said, on a Harley, batteries underneath the seat, and most of the time, it's a Phillips head screw. So keep a stubby screwdriver, keep a long screwdriver, whatever you need to take your seat off or ex access your battery, keep that on your bike just in case it ever goes dead. Next thing on the list, some zip ties. Um, you can pick these up at any hardware store, uh, Walmart, Dollar Tree, whatever. Having zip ties on your bike is a must, in my opinion. The amount of times that these have gotten me out of a pinch and got me home uh, has been honestly pretty surprising. Zip ties can do a lot of things. You don't really want to do anything structural with it, but in the event that you have a latch break on your saddlebag or something, you don't want it to flop around. If you lose the pin, God forbid, out of your uh, clutch cable or your clutch lever or your brake lever, you can use a zip tie to you know, keep the lever up there in just in case you need it. Hopefully it's not your clutch because it's going to put a lot of pressure on these things. You might snap a couple of them, but the zip ties can get you out of a bind. So you definitely want to keep these somewhere on your bike or like the air pressure gauge and the screwdriver in a backpack. The next thing on the list is a jump box. You can get smaller ones of these. This is the one that we keep at the shop uh, just in case we need to jump start a bike. This jump box does a bunch of different cool things. Um, you can charge your phone off of it. Uh, it's got a USB on it. You can jump start your bike in the event of uh, you either leave the key on or your battery's going dead or your, you know, your stator wasn't charging. This thing can get you out of a bind pretty quick. Um, they're reasonably priced. You can get cheaper ones. This one is a NOCO Genius. Uh, we got it off of Amazon. I think it was like 80 bucks during one of the sales. A little bit pricey for something that you might not use. Hopefully you never have to use, but definitely a lifesaver in the event that you have a weak battery or your stator is going out. Um, this one also doubles as a flashlight. It's uh, got a bunch of different modes, flash, whatever, super flash, and off. Um, but yeah, this can jumpstart your bike uh, a couple times, actually. This thing, lifesaver. I keep one in my backpack when I go on rides, just in case. I like to be pretty prepared on rides, especially if I'm going with other people. And being that I'm a motorcycle mechanic, I'm always tasked to fix other people's stuff. So having one of these, really helps you prevent having to call a tow truck 
or having to ask a stranger at a gas station if they can jumpstart your bike. And the last thing on the list, which I conveniently don't have here with me because it's actually in my bike at my house, is a tire plug kit. If you have tubeless tires, you definitely want to keep a tire plug kit on your bike. It is by all means a last resort. You don't want to ride around for long periods of time with the tire plug in, but if you're a long ways from home or uh, you're a long ways from a place who has a tire, you definitely want to have a tire plug kit in case you get a nail so you don't have to stop and start every, you know, every time you see a gas station to put air in your back tire or your front tire, whatever it may be. Tire plug kits are pretty cheap. I got mine off of Amazon. I believe it was 20 bucks. It comes with an emergency inflator with little CO2 cartridges. And I've only ever had to use it once on a motorcycle and it wasn't even mine. I ended up putting a plug in on Buddy's bike while he was trapped on the side of the road. And we used the emergency inflator, worked great. Definitely a tire plug kit is a must, especially if you're going on long rides. And having the emergency inflator, I think is the best thing. Even if you just have a low front tire or a low, low rear tire and you're out in the middle of nowhere, the last thing you want is to have to call a tow truck. A tire plug kit with an emergency inflator. Uh, I'm gonna put links in the bio to all these things on Amazon. So definitely tire plug kit with the inflator, um, get you out of a bind and keep your ass on the road. If there's anything that you guys personally have that I didn't mention on the list, please comment down below and let me know. Anyway, y'all, that's it for this video. If there's anything on this list that I forgot to mention or maybe didn't talk about, let me know in the comments below. As always, ride safe and keep the rubber side down. Y'all take it easy.